Hey guys, uh, this is Nick Kuka and Brian Janty, and we're down at the Golf Performance Center at Exmoor Country Club, and we're going to utilize our track man down here, and Brian's going to hit a few shots for us today, and what we've done is we've taken a can of Dr. Scholl's, and what we've done is we've sprayed and applied the Dr. Scholl's to, the, to Brian's club head, and what I'm going to ask him to do is to hit one off the toe of the club, uh, and then I want to see one off the heel of the club, and then hopefully Brian can give me one or two off the center. And we're going to then as a group uh, just go ahead and look at the track fan data and see what kind of effect, you know, hitting the sweet spot has on the golf ball in distance. So without further ado, Brian, uh, if you could, I want you to try to hit this first one right off the toe of the club. Okay, so that's just kind of leaking out to the right. We'll uh, show you where the golf ball went in a moment here, but let me take a look at it. So yeah, it is indeed off of the toe of the club. So this next one though, Brian, I want you to maybe apply you know, the opposite philosophy here and uh, try to get one off the heel of the club, you know, just as much off the uh, heel of the club as possible. Yeah, it definitely uh, sounded like it was off the heel. And sure enough, it was, yeah, really low and off the very, very heel portion of the club. So uh, now you got plenty of room right there in between the two marks. Go ahead and give us one off the center. Yeah, that had a different sound to it. That really sounded like a sweet spot. And uh, sure enough, you know, right in between the two marks. So we're going to go take a look then at the TrackMan data and uh, to have a little discussion about uh, sweet spot contact and what kind of massive effect that has on the distance that you're going to produce on the golf course. All right, we're going to take a look at Brian's track man numbers from the three shots that he hit. Uh, let's first look at the one that he hit off the toe. And uh, let me just show you the mark on the club of where exactly this was hit at. So uh, it was down here, you know, on the very, very bottom toe portion of the club head. Uh, so this swing, Brian swung 109 miles per hour, which is great speed, uh, but it only carried 230 yards and it only went 263, 264 total. Uh, obviously, it also did not go straight. It uh, flared out to the right. Uh, the next one, let's look at the one that he hit off the heel. This is actually the last swing. And uh, if you'll notice, this is the heel contact here, so down in the very, very bottom portion, bottom heel of the club, uh, not quite near the sweet spot. And uh, he swung his fastest on this one, 111 miles per hour, uh, but it really didn't go far at all. It only carried 216 yards in the air, uh, which is not very far for swinging that fast. And uh, then let's finally look at the one. This was, uh, he actually hit two of them on this club head, but this was this one right in the middle here, and that is pretty much dead off the sweet spot. And uh, Brian was swinging his slowest, actually, 108 miles per hour, uh, but it carried significantly further, uh, 40 yards further than the toe shot, uh, and even further than the heel shot. Uh, so it went 271 in the air and 292 total. And uh, this you know, little thing just shows us and highlights just how important uh, center contact is. So uh, we really want to see you, you know, spray your club head with some Dr. Scholl's, uh, something so you can figure out where on the club head you're hitting the golf ball. And then from there, if you notice you're having some issues, you know, the contact's not quite, up, not quite off the center, you can attend our driver clinic. The driver clinic's going to be on Sunday, May 28th from 1.30 to 3 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon. And uh, we'll be down at the Golf Performance Center and we'll give you plenty of good advice for getting a little more distance and accuracy out of the driver. Thanks, and we hope you enjoyed.